So um, I just wanted to give condolences to the family of the Thomas King, the Thomas Kingston family. Uh, it's very tragic. Uh, suicide, uh, evidently. Gunshot wound. Um, I feel uh, very uh, honored as a, as a, a, a practitioner of heart-centered remote viewing. Uh, and I really, if you're a student of HCRV, if you're trying to become a professional empath, um, it's really sacred work. You know, we can only advertise as entertainment, but it's really sacred work. And so I just want to go back to what Thomas Kingston had said to us yesterday, which is that he felt like he had been an imposter in a world he didn't belong in, that he had lost his shirt financially, in, in, uh, he had, uh, that he was presenting, he was trying to present himself in ways that he was not, that he was a highly sensitive person, that he felt that he had disappointed his wife because he couldn't be the thing she needed. She was disappointed in him. He couldn't be the royal. He couldn't be the successful person that he was being pressured to be. And so pressure, the pressure got to him. And that was something that he wanted us to know is that it's a world of tremendous pressure and that he wanted to run away. Every day he wanted to run away. That if we had cursed him that he should spend the rest of his life teaching in a public school, living in a council house with his wife, he said he would be most relieved. Um, because the expectations were insurmountable. He um, kept talking about how sensitive he was and he wanted a simpler life. And trying to be part of such a big life was more than he could give his wife. I think the financial problems will start to emerge. Uh, evidently he said he lost his shirt so this will be coming out as well. Um, I very much want to be that person for you. I very much wanted to be that person for you. But I couldn't be that person for you. And for that, I'm sorry. This is the message. This is today's remote, thank you.